All right, all right, all right. So, so look, look, a lot of people like been asking, like, it's crazy because, like, this is why I fuck with y'all. First of all, this is exactly why I fuck with y'all because every nigga in this right now is a real ass nigga. Every single one of y'all niggas is a real ass nigga because, like, I could have went live on my real account. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to because the niggas that come on the live on this low key account. On this private, on my November 1K account. Y'all niggas don't give a fuck about the numbers. Y'all don't give a fuck about none of that fake shit. Y'all don't give a fuck how many people are in here. Y'all literally just want to hear me fucking talk. And that's why I fuck with y'all. The real niggas follow this fucking account. So I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna, I wanna, cause everybody keeps asking like, oh, where you been? You know, what you been up to? You know what I'm saying? Did you die? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. And this is why I fuck with y'all. Like, real talk, like, I fuck with y'all niggas so fucking heavy. Because y'all really give a fuck about my well-being. It's crazy. Like, y'all really miss me. Like, I... I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I have fans like that. It's, I'm really fucking grateful for that. But um, I had some people just saying like, "Yo, where you been? You know, um, you know what you been up to? You know, so are you ever gonna come back to making videos? Are you ever gonna come back to YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I am, I am. I, I really like this is gonna be a start of it. This is just kind of like an update video and everything. Um, cause um, I just really I was trying to like find myself spiritually. Cause y'all niggas like y'all wanted to y'all wanted me to be a guru. Y'all wanted me to be like, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, y'all thought I was Gandhi, like, nigga, I'm not Gandhi, you know what I'm saying, I'm going through this spiritual thing myself, so, like, I just felt like it wasn't right for me to be teaching you guys while I'm learning myself, because I might give y'all false information at the same time, but I feel like I really miss doing this, I miss talking and shit, what's good, Zar, what's good, I miss, re I, re I really miss talking to y'all niggas and saying this shit, because, like, talking to you guys is, like, therapy, you feel me, it's, like, therapy to me, because, like, Every single day, I'm a, I'm always out. Like I'm I'm a natural seducer, and like the the main thing when it comes to seduction to seduce anyone is to listen. So I'm a great listener. So I literally just sit there and listen to people because if you want to seduce anyone, if you want them to just go on and on about themselves, just sit there and listen to them. That's it. No one gives a fuck about your problems and what's going on in your life. They just want to go on and on about their life. That's what I do. All day. Anytime I'm outside, anytime I'm at work, I'm literally just there listening to everybody. I don't talk about myself. I don't tell people what I do. I don't tell people I'm Apollo. I don't tell people I'm on my YouTube channel. I don't tell people I make music. I don't talk about myself. Because I don't... I just... I don't know. I just, I'm just... I don't know if I'm just super humble. Because I'm, I'm cocky, but I'm humble at the same time, which is weird. You know what I'm saying? But like when it comes to like music and shit, I don't want to tell people what I do. I just rather... like if, you, if you're meant to find it, you end up finding it. You know what I'm saying? Like That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you really care to find it, you will go out and find it. You know what I'm saying? So like you'll put the work in. So that's why I do, I do everything like that, you know? So, so yeah, I was just trying to... Um, just trying to find myself. Just, just trying to... Um, figure out how exactly I want to do things because one of my angels, like every time she talks to me, this is, she says, you know, be careful every single time. She's always like, yo, be careful. And like, every time I see her every single time, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, why do you, like, why do you always say that? Like, I'm like, every time you see me, you're like, you, you, you say, you know, be careful. And it's because like, you know, she, she sees what I'm trying to do. She sees that, like, I, I'm trying to, you know, show the duality and things, that I'm trying to show both sides, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I give y'all Apollo, and I'm always preaching about how I'm a god, and I'm this, and I'm that, you know, I can do anything I, I, I put my mind to, and I pre preach that to y'all, too. We can all do that. We're all gods. We just serve under God. Just don't forget that. That's all it is. But we're all gods under the, the God. And, like, I, I, I'm trying to preach that as Apollo, but I also want to show you my other side, and which is my alter ego, Dante the Demon. That's when you get the demonic music. That's when you get me talking about vampires and, you know, soul eater and all this other, you know, all this other shit. You feel me? And, you know, like like I said, you know, she, because, like, like I said, everything is about balance. Here, let me explain this. I explained it in the last one. But let me just explain it one time. It's uh, everything. Okay, so... In numerology, let's just say this is a nine. I know it looks very ugly, but I'll explain this in a second. This is a nine, right? If I flip it, it's a six. In numerology, the number nine is the fingerprint of God. If you flip this, you get a six, you know, triple six, you get the devil, right? What I'm trying to say is, is that it's the yin and yang. I know this looks ugly as fuck, but this is the yin and yang. This is literally what the yin and yang is. If you, let me draw the yin and yang real quick. That looks so ugly. <laughs> that is so ugly, dog. Let me just scribble this in real quick. It's essentially the same thing. But yeah, look, it's the yin and yang. You feel me? 
Because there's always with one side completes the other side. Everything is the same. Yeah, Jaws the real one for that. How you even know it was Jaws, nigga? What the fuck? Nigga, yeah, you better chill out, nigga. What the fuck? But yeah, yeah, look, look. Like everything is about duality. The nine completes the six. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Chinese and the Western um, civilization, they don't believe in, you know, everything is like evil versus good. No, they believe in cycles. They believe the daytime, it becomes day and then you have light until it cycles and becomes the darkness until it goes all the way around and becomes the light again. Like, you know what I'm saying? God needs the devil to exist. You know what I'm saying? Because they both give each other purpose. You know what I'm saying? Good gives evil purpose. The light gives dark purpose. You know what I'm saying? So, I be trying to preach that, and that's sort of what I'm trying to show the world. I'm trying to show the world that there are two sides to everything, and that if you are biased and you only stick to one side, you don't, you will not see the full picture. You will not see the big picture because everyone is so biased and so into their own ideals and so into, you know, like especially religion. Like you know, they, they preach about peace and yet they cannot find peace, which makes no sense. They cause all the conflict in the world. It makes no sense, right? So what I'm saying is like people are missing the big picture because they're trying to be too good, but they don't even take because they're trying to be so good. They don't take a chance to even explore that darker side. You know what I'm saying? There is still meaning and there is still a reason for why th that that other side does what it does. So I'm trying to show everybody this. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to post this on YouTube for sure. For sure. But like like I said, um, my angel, I'm not going to say her name. One of my angels. Cause I want nine of them. I just love you got to have females that are like tuned in spiritually because like obviously regular females they can help you grow like on the material plane but spiritual females are going to help you on a spiritual level and you need that in your life too you know what i'm saying so that's why I, like i want to keep females like this around me you know so i really appreciate her like for real like god bless that girl for, for real but like like i said this girl she's always saying oh be careful and the reason she says that is because it's like I have a foot in on the other side, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's almost like I'm playing with the devil in a sense, you know what I'm saying? When you're on a high frequency, the devil is going to come for you. The devil is going to come for you because he sees how powerful you are and he wants you to use that same power for his own agenda. It's the same thing it's if you want to talk about this material world and how they use all of these rappers and this music to fit their own agenda. But I'm going to get deeper into that, you feel me? So she's saying like you have a foot in, you know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful. You have to remember what side you belong to, she keeps saying to me. And I'm just like, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to forget what side I belong to, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, once again, like playing with temptation and playing with the devil is a dangerous thing. It's like, like I have one foot in the door. I literally have one foot in the door right now. And if I put both feet in, now I'm in the shit. You feel me? Now I'm in the shit. So that's why it's so, I don't give a fuck though. I'm still going to still show people both sides. I have to show people both sides because that's just what I, I've done. That's That was the whole purpose for everything I've done. And I'm going to get deeper into this, like I said. But like, like she says, she says, be careful because I'm manifesting what I am saying in my music. So like I have my, my Apollo music where I'm either flexing or like Astro Heaven music, Astro Heaven meditation music where I'm trying to uplift people and do stuff like that. But I also have my demonic music, my Dante the Demon music where I'm saying like demonic things. I'm talking about soul eaters. I'm talking about, you know, just women taking my soul and falling in love with. In 2020 Angel, I said, beautiful like Lucifer. They think they're seeing Satan. She's so mesmerizing how many souls has she taken? Feminine and divine bring me back to my little haven. Got me hypnotized, think I fell in love with Satan. That's what I said. That's what I said in that song. And I have meaning behind that whole song. That whole song is a whole story. It's about irony and all that. I don't, I'm not going to get too deep into that right now. But what she's saying is that me saying these things, I am also manifesting them into my own life. I have old songs. Where I say, oh, I'm going to pull up in a coupe. Guess what I'm about to do today? I'm about to go to a dealership and possibly go walk out with a coupe. I got the bread on me and everything. I'm going to put for the down payment. So possibly I'm going to walk out with a new fucking coupe. You know what I'm saying? What I said back then, I'm manifesting right now. Because what I put in my music is what I'm manifesting in my own life. So that's why she used to keep saying, be careful. Because I'm manifesting that. I'm manifesting all of this that I'm saying. So, like, it really makes me, like, it, it worries me because, like, like, I do talk about some dark shit. But that's because sometimes I am in a dark place and I like to portray that in my music. My music is therapy just as talking to you guys is therapy. You feel me? Um, and, see, look, look, let, let me, um, let me, let me play this real quick. This is a song I'm working on right now. Uh. 
the this is the song I was uh, rapping earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna release this song. Yeah. And this video for this, like, it was inspired by like Night Lavelle. Yeah. Like, I'm fuck with him. I'm fuck with him. Yeah. Cause it come alive in the nighttime. Why you always on my line in the nighttime? Shady said she wanna vibe in the nighttime. Funny how you always on my line at the right time. All the demons come alive in the nighttime. All my demons for the ride in the nighttime. Shady said she wanna die in the nighttime. Funny cause I'm on demon time, it's the right time. I put codeine in my soda, I've been moving slower. I've been out the shits for a week. I got your bitch on my shoulder, she love my aroma. Been fucking your mistress all week. She didn't get her diploma, but she get diploma like she got your way to the free. I tell that bitch that it's over, I cop the corona. That shit go hard as fuck at nighttime when I'm speeding with my niggas, bro. That shit goes so fucking hard, bro. That shit gonna be crazy. The video gonna be crazy. But I'm talking about some demonic shit. That last line I said, I tell that bitch that it's over. I caught the corona. Bitch, keep the social distance sing. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's some like very I'm walking on thin ice saying shit like that because like oh you might catch the corona saying some shit like that but once again I don't believe the corona is real and because my subconscious does not believe the corona is real I cannot catch the the fucking coronavirus you know what I'm saying so that's why I'm not worried about it you know what I'm saying but what she keeps telling me like here let me play one more let me play one more song. This is a song I made. Uh, it's uh, Apollo and Dante. Well, the first part is Apollo talking about Dante, and the second part is Dante talking about Apollo. And this is just like how I. Here, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Look at how I talk about myself. Dante is a demon, he's a menace to society. Not no Robin Hood, he is a lion and conniving thief. Wants to see it, bro, while he tunes his up in the minor sea. Wants to see it, bro, as the world crumbles at his feet. He looks up to Hitler, wants to start a genocide. I must to see what goes, always creeping in the night. A banished prince is like the loot, she'll take over this time. If I lose this war, then Dante, he will burn us all alive. Niggas are always like, how, why do you have two personalities? Why why are you Apollo and you also call yourself Dante the Demon? Because I have literally created the... I, what I'm she was trying to tell me that like I'm manifesting what I put in my music. And like I knew that from the very jump. So I don't even know why I'm like acting like this is so fucking crazy to me. But it's like, you know, her saying it again, it really made me realize, it made me rethink about everything. You know what I'm saying? But like... The reason I have an alter ego is because I created an alter ego for myself. I literally created two personalities for myself because I wanted to show the two different sides. That's why I wear blue sometimes and sometimes I wear red because I wanted to show the polarization. I wanted to show the two sides of me. So I literally created this. I created two sides to me. I created two, what's good, Avo? What's good, Green Velvet? I literally created two different personalities for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I, cre I manifested this. I have literally manifested this. So I, I've manifested a demon side of me and I've manifested a God side of me. So now I just have to learn how to find balance with it. And I was really just trying to fight this internal battle my damn self. But I think I'm just going to put it on YouTube and just show everybody what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through this journey with me. I'm going to go and talk about this and all this other shit. I'm, I, I, it's just crazy. Like I have my gold fangs on me too. You know what I'm saying? I, find, I got a new pair. I'm not going to lose these again. I'm not going to fucking lose these again. But it's it's... What you put in your music, it's, it's, uh, I'm manifesting this. And she, like I said, she says, be careful, not even just for me, but for the people that listen to it, for y'all niggas, because you singing along to my music, you are manifesting the same thing, which I don't see as a bad thing in my case, because I want everybody to know that there are God, they are God and they're also a demon. They just have to find a balance anyway. But now it goes into like, other rappers and what they're saying and how i said like the devil is going to use your abilities and use your power to fit his agenda what they are saying and you are repeating you are manifesting yourself so like i, I remember i went to rolling loud i snuck in i didn't pay for that shit no nah, nigga like i'm not gonna tell y'all how i snuck in like the, i can't let y'all in on the jugs there's certain shit i can't say over it isn't it but i'm not gonna say that but i went to rolling loud my first time going to like a huge concert like that right 
I go to Rolling Loud and like I, I see it's crowds of people, everybody's sweating, everybody's starving, everybody is dehydrated, and yet everybody is still going crazy and giving all of their energy to this artist on stage. I looked at, I, I, I remember I stepped back and I just looked at the entire scene and I was like, yo, this looks like hell. This looks like fucking hell, dog. Like niggas are literally like they're torturing themselves and giving all of their energy to this one person. It's fucking hell. And then it, it brings up to like like people who are demonic and they say certain things in their music. Like Lil Uzi Vert, everybody was saying, oh, he's a devil worshiper, all this other shit. And remember, I know everybody's seen that clip of Lil Uzi on stage talking about, hey, y'all are singing this song. Y'all are all going to hell with me. Because they, they're manifesting the same shit that he's manifesting because they're singing along the shit that he wrote. So they're going to manifest the same shit that he, he's manifesting. And that's why the world's getting darker and darker because everybody is manifesting all the bullshit that they put in this music. That's why music is so damn powerful. This is hypnosis. This is literal hypnosis. But nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about that. It's literal hypnosis. If this shit was in 432 hertz, it would be even more powerful. And they know that. It's crazy because like X showing up to the world was in, like, I didn't know about that shit until that nigga put me on. It's insane. That's some powerful shit. And I promise somebody is in the field. Like, there are things I'm not going to say over, over the internet because I know. I know how powerful that is and how that can be used for the wrong reason. So I'm not going to say that shit. But that is some powerful ass shit. The fact that you can literally tap into the frequency of the earth and tap into the frequency of someone's third eye and their brain. And you can literally affect their emotions immediately if you are on a certain frequency. But I'm not going to get too deep into that. What I'm saying is like, that's why I keep saying to be careful because this music shit is a lot deeper than people think. And like a couple of artists have always said, like Drake said it or uh, Rick Ross said it, uh, Jaden Smith said it. It's always been bigger than the music, dog. It's always been bigger than the music. So people have to really be careful what the fuck they say and what the fuck they are putting out into the world. Because not only are they manifesting what they are saying, they're projecting that into the world and they're going to create even more of that. So that's why like, I, I took a break. Like, I dropped that tape, Dante's Inferno. And then I went ghost. I went ghost because like, like I said, like I was just, you know, in a dark place. And I just felt like me putting that tape out was kind of like a sin in a sense, too, because like I'm projecting that out into the world. You know what I'm saying? But I, I have to show people both sides. So that's what I'm going to do. So like I'm going to post this on YouTube. What's good, Mari Flannel? Um... Like I said, I, I, I'm back. You feel me? Like, I, I'm back. Yo, we're, at the, we're on nine. Y'all boys, we're on nine. We're on the, oh, shit. We lost it. We lost it. But, um, yeah. Um, I, I want to start posting every single day. I want to start posting more consistently. So, here, I'm going to put my Twitter right here. So here, like, I want you guys to all follow my Twitter at November1K. And you guys can ask me anything. You can ask me, ask me questions about spirituality. You can ask me questions if you just need advice for anything and just in life in general. If you just want to, if you want me to give you a pep talk, if you need advice about women, if you like, because I, I want to start making an alpha male channel because a lot of niggas don't know how to talk to females and it's crazy. Like, I've, I've, I've always been around females my whole life, so it's natural to me. But a lot of people, you know, they have issues talking to that. So if you, any advice on anything, advice so yeah we back on nine y'all boys we on a high frequency my niggas three six nine bro i'm gonna do more videos explaining deeper into that and the you know the supreme mathematics and all that I'll, I'll, i'm gonna do more videos on that but dm me questions on twitter you can ask me anything like i said spirituality about women need advice if you just want me to give you a pep talk anything bro just anything i'll try to make a video i want to try to start you know posting more frequently i want to uh be more consistent with it so and i want to like try to create you i want youtube to be another source of revenue for myself because like, yeah, I work and, like, I be chilling, but it's, you know, like, you can't ever get complacent, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I really want to just continue to grow. 
and so i, I really want to do it and i want to grow with you guys you know what i'm saying like it's crazy like i said every nigga that follows me on this account you, you guys are real niggas bro because y'all don't give a fuck about the numbers y'all don't give a fuck about none of that fake shit i hate being on social media dog i hate being on social media but when it's for shit like this it's you know it's it's fun you know what i'm saying i, I like to preach to y'all niggas it's real cool so i mean like i said ask me any questions um yeah ask me any questions like i said dm me like just dm it to me i'm gonna go through my dms i'm just gonna start answering questions just like so sometimes you know i don't i don't know what i want to talk about sometimes i start rambling you know what i'm saying so it's better if i have a subject matter to talk about so just ask me i don't care anything you guys want to ask me i'm gonna make uh the alpha male ch uh channel too as well i don't know what i'm gonna name it yet but that's just it's gonna be cool that, that that's where all the advice about women is gonna be um my mom is also selling face masks because y'all know I love my bandanas. So, you know, she made me a whole bunch of bandana face masks. And I want to start selling them. So, if y'all want any bandana face masks, I'm going to leave a link in the description on the YouTube video when I post this. And you guys can get them. Um, Yeah, that's about it, bro. Like, I, it was good talking to y'all niggas. I'm so glad, like, y'all niggas fuck with me this much. To, like, bro, this is the low-key account. You know what I'm saying? We're on 11 now. We're on 11 now. My niggas, my niggas. Last thing before I go, though. The reason this fucking year is so crazy is because we are on the frequency of 22, the master number 22, which is master builder number. That number, like it's called the master builder number. So you're on a higher frequency and it's, you're able to literally manifest any type of life and pathway that you want to manifest for yourself. So the reason this year gets crazier and crazier is because literally anything is possible this year. So if there is anything you want to achieve, I would literally start achieving that right now. I'm 22 in 2020 you feel me so i want to make sure i start moving and start doing the things that i want to start doing because i'm building my life i'm building the pre i'm pre the precept for the rest of my life look at the number bro look at the fucking time nigga two 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 my nigga two fuck two 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 bro come talk bro just hey bro 2020 bro literally anything is possible this year it was good talking to y'all boys